right commander so that you can see static games and catch you whatever. Company. 
Call him.
companies have a strength for platoons, guard and battle tank metal ships. My eyes, sir. tonight. I have a few things to tell you, but first I'd like to introduce our guests on the dais, the special guests we have to visit us tonight. First, His Worship, and to speed things up, please save applause till I'm finished and we'll get through quicker. Thank you. His Worship, Mayor Nori and, Mr. No and Mrs. Nori. Chief Stephen, City of Winnipeg Police, and Mrs. Stephen. Colonel McGowan, Base Commander, CFB Winnipeg, and Mrs. McGowan. <clears throat> Colonel Solar, District Commander, and Mrs. Solar. Lieutenant Colonel Haziak. Commanding Officer Fort Gary Horse and Mrs. Hazian. Lieutenant Colonel Olson, Commanding Officer Air Reserve, and his guest, Ms. Kathleen Keegan. <coughs> Major Massey, Commanding Officer 17th Medical Corps, Mrs. Massey. We have two of our former commanding officers, Commander Durham and Commander Thane. Commanding officers of our Sea Cadet and Navy League Corps, Lieutenant Commander Bilton from John Travers Cornwell, BC. Lieutenant Commander Matheson from Crusader Corps, and Mrs. Matheson. Lieutenant Ross from Cobell Corps, Mrs. Ross. Lieutenant Levesque from JRK Mellon Navy League Corps.
us pray. Almighty God, our Creator and our Father, we address you during this important moment at Chippewa. First of all, to express our praise and thanksgiving for all the blessings that you've already given us to make this celebration possible. And to ask for more, first of all, that you be merciful toward us in view of our imperfections and sins, that you instill in us an appreciation for your works, especially that part of the world that we call Canada, that we're so proudly a part of. Help us to realize how to serve it well and honorably. We ask you to bless everyone assembled here particularly the ship's company of Chippewa. We ask you to bless the retiring commanding officer with the satisfaction that he served well, to bless the new one, that he'll know how to serve us and our country well too, for the world and its citizens. We ask this honestly and sincerely through Christ our Lord. Amen. And all together, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
Say a few words to us at this time. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Commodore Fox Deason, to uh, Captain Steele, Commander Duggan, Commander Siemens, uh, distinguished guests, officers in all ranks of the ship's company, HMCS Chippewa. Certainly a delight for my wife Helen and for me to be here this evening uh, because as you have heard we've had a very special relationship uh, between the city of Winnipeg and HMCS Chippewa uh, this year. Uh, I must first of all uh, express a word of appreciation on behalf of the community uh, to Commander Duggan for his services to Chippewa and to the city of Winnipeg. I'm sure that uh, his employer, the University of Manitoba, and Mrs. Duggan will be very happy and welcome them back with open arms. Uh, I suspect that uh, Mrs. Siemens will not be quite as happy, but uh, I offer my congratulations to Commander Siemens as he assumes command of this very historic establishment, HMCS Chippewa. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a very special year in the history of naval services in Canada and uh, we've been very happy to celebrate that 75th anniversary. It was uh, no more uh, dominant perhaps and uh, in the forefront than at City Hall in Winnipeg where we had the privilege of the freedom of the city ceremony and uh, we were very privileged to have presented to the city a plaque uh, by HMCS Chippewa marking that very special event. And I can tell Commander Duggan that that plaque now stands in a very honored place at the entrance to uh, City Hall. We're delighted to have had that very special relationship. So I'm very, very pleased that we were able to be here tonight. I think that this is an outstanding ceremony, and I think that we're very, very well served in this city and this country by the men and women who uh, serve us in the forces, and in this case, particularly in the naval forces. We hope that we never need those services in the kind of conflicts that we've seen in the past, but it's certainly good to know that uh, we have uh, peace through vigilance and we know that we are in good hands uh, with the men and women that we see tonight and in the other areas of service. So it's a great pleasure for me to offer my congratulations both uh, to Commander Duggan and to uh, Commander Siemens and to say how delighted I am to see uh, uh, the Commodore in his new uniform. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to be here at home in Winnipeg and to join with this marvelous audience as I look among you I see members of the Naval Officers Association, the Chief and Petty Officers Association, the White Ensign Club, and a host of friends whose faces spring out at me as I look through the audience. We're all here tonight to say farewell to the father of the family, Commander Duggan, who has given four years of outstanding service to Chippewa and the naval family found herein. I don't have to tell you about his leadership. It's hallmarked by hard work and by a quiet but determined 
leadership, which has brought to him, as he richly deserves, the respect and admiration of all the members of the Chippewa family. Well done. And of course, tonight, we welcome the new father. Not you, Father Seaman. You will stay with us. I hope. But Father Seaman's, Commander Seaman's, the new commanding officer. An officer who has, through his whole service, been part of Chippewa. An officer who will bring some new ideas. An officer who will bring his own enthusiasms to the job. A gentleman in whom I have full confidence. I know you will serve him well, as he deserves, and that he will serve you with distinction as the father of the Chippewa family. And so, my friends, it is with great respect and admiration that I say on your behalf, farewell to Commander Duggan, and with delight, I welcome Commander Siemens. Thank you very much. It's with pleasure that I can introduce our new commanding officer in Naval Divisions. It's his first opportunity to see us, his first opportunity to visit us here, uh, Captain Steele. Commodore, your worship, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a great pleasure to be here, but at the risk of crossing the executive officer, it's not my first visit actually. A very long time ago, when I was a mere lieutenant, a certain Commodore wasn't mere, he was a lieutenant commander, and since he and I worked together on the West Coast in the summer, he said, if you're ever in Winnipeg for a meeting of some sort, I will take you to Chippewa for a drill night as a special treat if you behave yourself. I got away with it, and he brought me here one night on a dark and somewhat cool February evening. Being a West Coaster, I had a raincoat, that was all. But I came to divisions in Chippewa back in that February of about 1971 and was very impressed at that occasion, so much so that I practically wanted to resign from the regular force and join Chippewa. However, time went on and I've stayed in the regular force for a while longer and I'm delighted to be back this evening. I'm very honored indeed to be selected as the Commander Naval Divisions I have some connection with the Naval Reserve in that I was brought up to love and cherish it by the Commodore a long time ago, and I actually married a Naval Reserve officer. Now I have two Naval Reserve advisors. <laughs> I should not wish to keep you long, but I wish to remark that I am delighted to be here at your invitation and to say how much that I have been impressed with Commander Duggan's service and wish him very well in the future. I also wish Commander Siemens a fine commission. He will agree with me, I know that there's no greater feeling than command. It is something one gives up with reluctance, one accepts with al alacrity. And I look forward as much as I can to coming back to visit you. You will appreciate that you have 17 other brother, brother divisions or sister divisions or person divisions that I must also visit. And as you may also know, we are in the process of opening up three more in various cities in the province of Quebec. And I can only hope that I can engender in them the same enthusiasm and professionalism that is the hallmark of Chippewa. Thank you. Right now to introduce our retiring commanding officer, Commander Duggan. Mayor Nori, Commodore Fox Thiessen, honored guests, family and friends, officers, chiefs and petty officers, 
Ren and Ren's cadets. What I'd really like to do tonight is to thank all those that helped us so much here at Chippewa over the past four years and made it so much easier for me in my years of command. My first thanks, of course, is to my wife Janet, not only for her time and effort, but also for her support during all my involvement down here. I'd like to also echo the thanks that was given to Mayor Norway and Chief of Police Stevens for all the help the City of Winnipeg has given us in this busy 75th anniversary year. I'd like to thank Commodore Fox Decent, although he is the Senior Naval Reserve Advisor and therefore is busy on a national basis, he's always taken a personal interest here in Chippewa and offered worthwhile and well, well to heed guidance and advice. And he's taken a real interest in our progress here at Chippewa. Of course, Captain Steele has just taken over as Commanding Officer Naval Divisions, but he has, would convey on our, my behalf, on behalf of Chippewa, our thanks for the support that we've been given to our new headquarters, Naval Reserve Headquarters in Quebec City. They have the onerous and sometimes thankless job of trying to guide us in our training. I think we're fortunate here in Winnipeg having a support base that looks after us so well, and that is because largely because of Colonel McGowan who takes not only a professional interest in us, but a personal interest being a former naval officer. And I think we're well served here at Chippewa by our support base. So I would like at this time to thank him on behalf of Chippewa for our special treatment here. As, as I look down the side, I see the organizations and the friends of Chippewa, all as Commodore Fox Easton alluded to, our family here at Chippewa. There are a lot of former shipmates, uh, and they always have taken a very personal interest in Chippewa, supported us in all of our activities, and I thank you very much for your efforts and for your interest. So look out on the parade deck. I see the others of our family that make their home here in Chippewa, the Cadet Corps, the Navy League Cadet Corps, and I thank them for participating with us throughout the various activities we had and for coming down this evening. So thank you very much. On the far side, we have our very small group of people that are very important to Chippewa, and that's our regular force support staff. These are people that sort of get out of the mainstream of their professional activities, but they take the time down here serving us all week while we're just down here one or two evenings and make sure that they bring us up to what was required in the way of professional training and standards. And I thank them for their dedication over the past four years. And of course, my final and I guess most heartfelt thanks is to our own officers, chiefs and petty officers, men and wrens of Chippewa. I think you have given me all the support that I could possibly ask for and then more. I've never felt let down by you. I've been proud to be your commanding officer. I'm sure you'll continue the service under Commander Siemens, and I thank you very much. We have a number of presentations this evening, and I'd like to ask Captain Steele if you would make these presentations for us. Commander, Vice Admiral J.C. Woods, Certificate of Achievement, presented by Captain Steele to Lieutenant Commander A. Sakolinski and Lieutenant I. Gillespie. Step forward, please. This award is for assistance provided attempting to revive our late friend, Lieutenant Bill Messier, on 21st of April, 1985 on board HMCS Chippewa. Thank you very much. 
some sort of thing. The gentleman behind me is probably not going to take care of your preference on that. Thank you. I'd like to now go on with the actual signing the change of command document. Change of command document is superimposed on a map of Canada. If you haven't seen it, it's a very, very nice document. here this evening. I can feel it. This is the spirit of the Naval Reserve at its best. We serve with honor in our great nation's search for continued peace. It's a particular pleasure for me to stand here today accepting this honor under the eye, under the eye of my mother. I want you to know that today is her 80th birthday. I accept this appointment as commanding officer of HMCS Chippewa with humility and with eagerness to get on with our search for excellence. But tonight we're honoring Commander Duggan. He's served Chippewa with distinction and he enjoys the admiration, the respect, and the affection of the many branches of the Chippewa community. Ladies and gentlemen, you can join me later in the messes as we move off to the messes and speak with Commander Duggan personally, convey to him your appreciation of his last four years. At this time, on behalf of Ship's Company, we've got a small token of appreciation which it is my privilege to present to Commander Duggan.
check contents before I click.
Thank you. 